WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we've got, well, mostly a sea of red. We've got the uh, trannies that are trading to the upside. The other U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's down 166. S&P 42. NASDAQ 10203. Russell's down 13. Semis are out 43. Gold's up 22 bucks. Trade out 2002. Silver's up 78 cents. That's a 3.5% move. Trade out at 2382. Lights be crewed up 80 cents. 89.16 is the print there. Natural gas off 4 cents. 30 year treasury up 20 ticks. Trade out at 108.15. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart, ES mini upper left-hand side. What do we know about it? Well, its price target would appear to be the buy the D point pattern. That's the low. That's the swing point low. I believe it was October 4th. Let's find out. That was October 4th. That low out there is 42.3550. You close below that today, you'll negate a Gartley buy pattern on the weekly time frame chart. And that would be a pretty bearish message. In the case of the NQ, it's uh, about to tack, tackle, or maybe it already has, the first support level, which is at... 14,677. And the low so far today, 14,680. Now, that's the bottom of its profile. And if price closes below that, the next area would be its TD9 count bottom pattern, and that's at 14,586. If price closes below that, will generate or it will generate a weekly A to B equals CD to the downside. U.S. dollar index not really doing a whole lot out there, so that's not impacting the market. So we take a look at gold. Gold is going to complete its TD9 count top today, whatever that high is. If we start trading above that or close above that uh, next week, it'll negate that signal. Silver's already suggesting to you and I, at least as of 11.01 in the morning, that that TD9 count is likely to fail because silver's TD9 count will fail today with a close above 2349. Now, its next area of resistance is 2392. If price can close above that, it's off to the races to continue moving to the upside. Lightspeed crude is targeting the top of its daily profile. That's at 91 and a quarter. We're trading 90, 89 and change out there. Right now, natural gas is testing a swing point. Its swing point from back on September the... 26. The high of that swing point is 290, 2.906 to be exact. Of course, this is the uh, November contract. I'll switch it to the December contract. I meant to do that last night. In any event, on the November contract, it closed below 2.906 .2 today. That's going to suggest, well, at least you go test the low. And the low of that swing point is at the uh, two, 279 level. The 30-year Treasury, folks, this is a monthly chart with the A to B equals CD pattern. Its next price projection level, 96 and change. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Friday, have a fantastic one, a fantastic weekend. Be safe out there. We look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.